Hello, this is Brother Kevin, and I'd like to welcome you to Reformation and Revival Now. Uh, this site is dedicated to that. And what I mean by Reformation, I mean roadblocks that block revival. And of course, revival just meaning to resuscitate or to make alive again. And uh, I believe roadblocks are teachings, doctrines, attitudes, priorities that can get in the way of that fruitful Christian lifestyle that which brings life, that which revives. Uh, some people say, well, I'm not dead, I don't need one. Well, let me tell you, I don't see the quality of Christianity here in the States like it ought to be. So, in my opinion, most of us need revival. But of course, I'm not here to talk about that today. I'm here to introduce something to you that I promised, and that is a uh, spiritual warfare uh, course for young soldiers or old soldiers. Um, and I want to start it today. And it will be more than likely a seven to eight part teaching, but this is going to be different. This is going to be systematic. Um, this is going to be with scriptures written down. In fact, this course will have underneath every, um, every block of teaching I have will have uh, the teaching, the scriptures underneath neath it so that you can follow along. And I'm also going to create some things to interact with, um, what I call the P's, and I'll explain that um, in just a moment. Anyway, this is the um, introdu introduction, introductional uh, video, so I want you to stand by uh, and maybe get a pad and, and paper out. Definitely get your Bible. This time you're going to need your Bible because I'm going to be quoting scripture, and you'll see that scripture beneath this video. So let's get ready and let's talk about our spiritual war warfare course. Now, as you have, as I have said to you, God has spoken to my heart and has told me that ISIS is going down this year. I want you, I want you and I to be a part of that. It's not going down because I said so. It's going down because he said so. But guess how he's going to carry that out? He's going to use people, ordinary people like you and me, to trust him because the God that we serve is not ordinary. ISIS, the spirit, evil spirit behind ISIL or ISIS has nothing to do with Muslim people. I'm sorry, but I don't see anything that will kill its own brothers, its own people, and any people that stands in this way as if it's going to advance. That's just Satan. He did it in the Crusades. You know, he did it in the Inquisition. I mean, Satan will use any opportunity to destroy and kill people's lives, even if he puts Jesus in front of it. So, um, I just want you to know that I'm not prejudiced there. In fact, I want you to be kind and understanding to uh, Muslims that you may work with or neighbors you may have, because a lot of them are Americans just like we are and came here for opportunity. So please, please show kindness to the seed of Ishmael and to Muslim people that have nothing to do with this wicked thing that they call ISIS, anything that would take lives. But I'm going to get into that much later on. Right now, let's get ready for this uh, Foundations course. So let's have a word of prayer. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to break the bread of life with your, with your people, Lord God. Let the spirit of wisdom and revelation be upon us. Bring the teacher, the Holy Spirit, to open this up to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Ephesians 6, 14 through 17. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. The armor is truth, righteousness, peace, faith, salvation, and spirit. Paul does not go into great detail, but uses terms such as belt, breastplate, readiness, shield, helmet, and sword. We have had a lot of teaching on the spiritual armor, so I will not repeat this teaching. However, when we walk through this one-on-one -on -one series, you will find the applications Paul is talking about through other passages that we'll be talking about um, in this study. Okay, um, 
uh, you can read below everything that I have here, but I just need to make a, a little point here. It's not knowledge that makes the difference. It's doing what you know. And I'm going to try my best to uh, encourage you to go out and do these things because they don't really come alive until you do them. So, as a soldier and as a Christian, you need to know your rights and privileges. That's the first thing that we're going to get into. Every Christian has at least five major benefits of warfare, and they are, one, the cross, two, the blood, three, the name of Jesus, four, the promises, or the word of God, five, the Holy Spirit. We will go through these one by one, so you will see how, so you will see who Jesus is inside of you by the Spirit. While this is not an exhaustive, exhaustive teaching, it will lay a solid foundation of the power, protection, and position, and provision of a Christian soldier. Now, these are my P's that I'm talking about. Power, protection, position, and provision. You'll need to, to know these, and you'll need to be able to recognize when they appear as we go through certain passages. So, in lesson one, and every lesson that follows, mark down your P's wherever you see them appearing. Now, you don't have to necessarily uh, make notes per se, but just mark it down. But if you have a piece of paper, don't be afraid to say, hey, that scripture is provision. That scripture is uh, power. That scripture is because I really want you to interact with it. Instead of just telling you what the armor is, I want if you can see some of them. Now, there's one of them that's going to be. There's, there's one of them that's going to be almost evident all the time. But I want you to see that. I'm not going to say that because I'm believing that the Holy Spirit is going to teach you through this lesson. Okay. Well, that's the introduction, which is very short. Um, please uh, come back and we're going to go ahead and go over the uh, lessons, starting with the cross. And pray for me and pray for my wife and I because we are launching out in new phases of ministry. And this is one of them as far as this uh, ministry is concerned. I see that there is a need for uh, teaching of this manner. And I want you to enter in on the, that war against that evil spirit, which is called ISIS. But understand if you go to war uh, against the enemy in any area, you're going to kick back a little bit. So we need to lay some foundations. All right, I'll be back with you in the next video. Bye-bye.